This is not Baton Rouge, it's not Mississippi, and it's not Louisiana. It's a crisp, sparkling, sunny winter day in Canberra. There were no truncheons here, no police dogs, and no electric cattle prod. But it was white Australian police against black Australian Aborigines. are only doing their duty, but it's a pretty dirty duty they've been given to do. Now, this sorry story started round about January early this year. Australia Day, Australia Day 1972, saw, as I remember it anyway, the first Aboriginal embassy erected outside Parliament House. At that time, I don't think it was intended to be anything other than a fairly temporary measure. It was intended to demonstrate the great need for attention to be given to the Aboriginal cause, and in particular, land rights. This great, driving, emotional, unifying force called the need for Aboriginal land rights. Put him in 
There was no Bull Connor, no Lester Maddox and no George Wallace. But the responsible Australian politicians were sitting 50 yards away in their Parliament House offices. The Labour member for the ACP, Mr Gordon Bryant, the Labour member for Wills in Victoria. Gentlemen, can you comment on the situation? Yes, it's a great commentary on government's proclaimed desire for law and order. They have done this. I mean, this is a deliberate act. These people were not hurting anyone. It was a peaceful assembly. They objected this flag. And you see the result of it. A deliberate act to create unrest. Now, these people are acting in a predictable way. Government intended this to happen. Mr Bryant? Well, but... The most des despicable action that I've seen government perpetrate in my 20 years in public life. What should the police do? They should, didn't need to do anything. The, uh, the ordinance is there. They could have, uh, the government could have taken some action to entice them away or make some offer, in, some symbolic gesture in the parliament. And it would have all been over. But they wouldn't do that. They'd rather bring all the forces of the police here and drag them off. Now it's, it's cast... Uh, it's bad for the police, but it's bad for the whole nation. I, Who's won as a result of today? I, I suppose Australia's lost, and the Aboriginal people at least will have everybody in Australia know what they're fighting about tonight. A few arrests, a few injuries on both sides, and it was all over in about 15 minutes. The government saw that it had its way. 50 ACT police used this very successful method to clear the Parliament House I saw. The ACT ordinance prohibiting camping on unleased ground had been law for but a couple of hours. The ordinance was both the excuse and the reason for the police to move in. The police paddy wagon and the police trailer can cart away the immediate evidence of the Aborigines' dissatisfaction, but the problem is surely left behind. Unless now anyone imagined that the government was touched by this scene this morning, let me report that a federal minister told me after, you and I couldn't do it, so why should they? We told them to move, they got what was coming to them, they deserved everything they got. One might now legitimately ask if this confrontation will produce an Australian Rap Brown, Stokely Carmichael or Angela Davis.